We know how important specs, stats and options are to PC players. So we created this video just for you. Today we're going to showcase how Outriders shines on PC, covering everything from the essentials all the way to the tiny details that make a world of difference. Here are the topics we'll be covering in order. Fundamentals, the bare necessities such as system requirements and graphic settings. Quality of life improvements, the things that will generally enhance playing experiences. And extra goodies, aspects that may enhance your enjoyment beyond the game based on the hardware or software you own. To make it easier to skip to the sections you want to watch, we've added time codes to the description below. Otherwise, sit back and let us show you what Outriders on PC has to offer. Let's start with the absolute basics here, system requirements. As you may see, our aim here was to target a minimum of 60 FPS, regardless of what spec machine you're playing on. With CPU from 2012 and GPU from 2014, basically if you bought a desktop from the last 6 years, you'll be fine. To be completely honest, we tend to market our games using high-end PCs, but are also aware that the average gamer may not have such a setup. We want to be transparent here, so take a look at this short segment of gameplay using the minimum, recommended and ultra settings. And this brings us neatly to the all-you-can-eat buffet for all you GPU lovers. All of the basic and advanced graphic settings that can be changed to suit your PC's capability. Let's start with the general display settings, which lets you set up basic stuff like your preferred resolution and monitors. A cool thing to point out here is the possibility to lock and unlock the frame rate however you see fit and the options to adjust your general field of view, something we come back to in a bit. Our advanced settings will let you go even deeper. Next to the common presets, you are able to adjust about anything related to the visual presentation of Outriders. No matter if you're on a lower end system, trying to find that performance sweet spot, or if you tend to own a monster of a machine that eats 4K at 200 plus FPS for breakfast, we got you covered. Mouse and keyboard support? Wait, is that even a question? Of course we have that, and as typical with most PC games, there will be key remapping functionality to suit your personally preferred layout. More of a pet person? Outriders will also support most first-party controllers including Steam, Xbox and PS4. We've integrated support for 13 languages, with the majority including interface, full audio and subtitles. Was auf dem Gang war Seth. Was macht er denn hier? Ignoruję prośby o pomoc. Nie jest po waszej stronie? Seth, il est du côté de personne. Tiene na normal, são pesadillas caminantes. A gente tem sorte que o Seth aparece para enfrentar eles às vezes. Когда это совпадает с какими-то его интересами? Hey, Blin. Что ты? Tu non hai la minima idea di che inferno sia, Outrider. Creímos escapar del apocalipsis. Creímos poder empezar de cero. But we were wrong. I was wrong. Shira. Let's get on to the quality of life stuff. Different players prefer seeing different things in their HUD. Some want the whole shebang, enemy damage numbers, minimap, quest triggers a lot. And others prefer a more minimal approach, so we made sure to include options to customize your UI however you like. You can watch our video about this here if you fancy more info. Outriders will support a full crossplay experience, meaning you don't have to be making any difficult decisions about where to buy the game. You will always be able to play with your friends, no matter their platform. Hey, you're welcome. We've got you multiple monitor and ultra wide screen elites covered too. Outriders will feature native ultra widescreen support to feast your eyeballs on gorgeous vistas or bloody battlegrounds. I mean, we can't show this in all its glory here within a 60x9 video, but trust us, it's there. The field of view slider I mentioned earlier will allow you to fine tune exactly how much of the battlefield you want to see. With a wider FOV, you get to see more around the edges of the screen, and it might be easier to pinpoint where your co-op allies are, but makes targets at a distance smaller. That shouldn't be a problem for you precise shooter players out there though, right? This will alter the output resolution on the fly, depending on whether what is happening on screen is creating a processing bottleneck. Essentially, DRS preserves frame rate and graphics quality by temporarily reducing the resolution until the blockage has been bypassed. Theoretically, you won't even really notice when DRS kicks in, but 
It will provide a huge performance increase in certain systems. And it can also prevent slowdowns or hitches across all systems, including high-end machines. And on that note, here's another brand new feature we haven't talked about yet. We are proud to announce the support of NVIDIA DLSS, which uses AI-based super resolution to boost frame rates while generating beautiful, crisp game images. While Outriders doesn't have a dedicated photo mode, it does support NVIDIA Ansel, which allows you to take gorgeous custom screenshots of the game in action. Here we are recording the process of activating Ansel during gameplay to capture a stunning screenshot. The Razer Chroma RGB lighting ecosystem, paired with Outriders, will provide a full-blown immersive experience that transcends the screen into your setup. And last but not least, here's a quick exclusive first look at some of our Steam trading cards and backgrounds. And there we have it. That's everything that Outriders on PC will support for now, all wrapped up in a lovely little package. See you on Enoch!